Hey, it's Steph here, aka Mrs. Brick in it, and I've just driven all the way to Manchester because I am very, very excited about the new set that's been launched today, the Diagon Alley set. So I've come to Manchester to visit the Lego store to pick it up. Chris, our Brick in it, is working today, so he hasn't come with me, but I'm sure he will be very excited when I bring it back later on. <laughs> Hello, I have made it to the Lego store in Manchester and it's looking really, really cool. I'll switch the camera around and show you what I can see. So here you can see we've got Diagon Alley at the front of the store, Pride of Place. It is looking fantastic. Obviously behind it you've got some of the sets that came out on September, like August 1st. So the Iron Man Mosaic and the NES. And then as you can see we've got some Pride of Place um, at the moment for the Harry Potter release. So I'm back in the car, that took me way longer than I was intending. I was first in the queue as well. Got in there, picked up the sets I wanted to pick up, I'll show you those when we get back. Um, but then I took a look at the pick a brick wall and there was loads of brilliant bricks. Um, so I got a little bit distracted, went a little bit crazy and ended up buying nine large cups worth of bricks, which um, yeah, Chris thinks I'm absolutely mad, but they'll be used in the city, so they won't go to waste. And it was just an opportunity too good to miss. So yeah, I picked up loads and loads of stuff. So much stuff I had to make two trips back to the car because I couldn't carry it all on my own. I mean, really. Um, but yeah, now I'm back in the car and ready to drive home. So I shall see you shortly. Yeah, so I completely filled the booth with Lego. You're an idiot. <laughs> I'm supposed to be the Lego Holly. Yeah, you, you taught me well. Oh my god, Diagon Alley's massive. Yeah, you see why I couldn't carry all of these to the car in one go? Let me get in. Oh, mind out, Bruce, you're going to get squished. Okay, I just hauled all these up the stairs. I'm working today, so I haven't even had a look at these myself, but it's lunchtime, so I thought. Right, okay, let's have a look what she's bought. I think I know some of the things that she's bought, but I don't know all the things she's bought. I obviously asked for certain things, but let's start with this. This looks ridiculous. Um, she's bought about, okay. Oh, there's even bricks forming out of this. She's brought absolutely loads of pick -a brick books. <laughs> okay. So that is two, four, six, seven pick a brick cups. There's more in here as well that I saw. Nine pick a brick cups. Okay, that's pretty amazing. Okay, these are the uh, masonry bricks by the looks of it, so that's why. Oh, she's got loads of grey, light blue grey. Oh, these are gonna be absolutely great for the city. So um, yeah, this is probably gonna be a lot cheaper than what I've been doing buying bricks and pieces online. So hopefully some of this stuff will actually be worth, <laughs> worth using, but I'll have to put them into the city at some point. Plenty of pick a brick cups though at least. That's always good for sorting. Okay, what else? This one itself here is Diagon Alley. I know that much. That's the one that she was supposed to be going for. What are these? Okay, this looks like Harry Potter minifig uh, series. So there's two packs here. I'm wondering if that means that that's a complete series and that's a complete series. I won't mix them up just in case. I'm not sure if I put that one in the right one there. So that looks like we might have the uh, CMF Series 2. So that'd be good for doing the worst of first. Next week we'll do that and I'll put a Survey Monkey out. Um, oh, wicked. Okay, so this is the uh, Star Wars Advent Calendar. A bit early for Star Wars Advent Calendars, but uh, I'll get it ready because last year they pretty much sold out by the time I went to go get one and I was like got one of the last ones in the shop. So 
that's pretty awesome that we've got that. Um, oh, okay, this is the freebies. So that's the Harry Potter gift with purchase uh, poly bag. And we've got the Hagrid and Buckby beak. Uh, oh, that's really cool. I've been collecting these guys recently. Uh, probably too much. I've got the Kylo Ren and the Sith Trooper. In fact, they're on my desk right now. These guys are really, really cool. And I got these when we went to the uh, one in Milton Keynes. So that's pretty cool. I've got some more brick heads to go through. And yeah, I bought it. I bought the Razor Crest in the end. I know I did a video on whether I should cancel it or not, and I did cancel it. Um, and for the reason is I thought we were going to be going September 1st to Lego Store anyway. So if I did want it and I changed my mind, which I've been flittering whether I did or not, I kind of got it in the end. And weirdly, it says Razor Crest on it. So it doesn't say the weird one that they were on about online. So that's pretty interesting because this is a European box. So very strange that this actually has the Razor Crest written on it. But I thought in the end, uh, you know, the main reason I didn't want it was because of the Mandalorian, not being the best got armor Mandalorian. And I thought actually I could use the spare one in the city at some point because I have some ideas of maybe incorporating uh, Mandalorian into the city. So the spare would be pretty handy anyway. And then obviously other than that, we have the, the daddy, the absolute beast, which is Diagon Alley. So that is a ridiculous haul, seeing as we said we weren't going to be doing big hauls recently uh, after the Mario one that we did before, but this looks like it's just as big, if not bigger than that haul. But hopefully Mrs. Brick in its uh, vlog went out okay, um, and uh, yeah, I haven't seen it obviously, so I'm going to have to edit this video and put it all together, but um, we'll be trying to get the reviews out of these ASAP as good quality as all the other videos. So. Maybe a little bit later, but I'm trying to obviously do these at a really good quality and Diagon's going to take absolutely ages to build. But we've got lots of new stuff for City, which is going to be absolutely awesome. And I've got some new brick heads as well, which is pretty cool. But if you want to watch any more awesome LEGO videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we do one of these pretty much every day. And other than that, have an absolute awesome day. If you enjoyed the vid, then if you haven't already, please like and subscribe as it really helps out the channel. And as always, keep bricking it.